This video and my most recent blog post are about clay shrinkage. So you probably know that clay shrinks. It's around 10 to 20 percent, generally more close to 10 unless you're working with porcelain. It's the percentage decrease in size from when it's fresh out of the bag to generally when it's fired and they might give you a range of temperatures because the amount it shrinks depends on what it's fired to. Um, the initial shrinkage as it dries is from water evaporating and then there's chemically bound water that's given off in the higher firings and then when it's taken to vitrification some of the silica melts and all of this means that the piece gets smaller. It's important to know the shrinkage percentage if you know if you have a defined size you want to throw to and you want to know how big you're going to throw your piece. But the way you use the shrinkage percentage to work out what size to throw your piece is quite a simple calculation, but it isn't the one that I see most people using. The way that most people do it is ever so slightly wrong. Um, and I will explain why that is. I'm going to throw a couple of pieces and demonstrate what I, how I use the shrinkage in my work. To start with, I've got this grid, something I designed and is produced by Hartley & Noble to go with their Russian doll bat system. So it's an insert that goes in and gives you a grid. These measurements are absolute measurements. So one centimeter on here is one centimeter. So I can set my laser guide, which is what I use as the mark. I can set this to the measurement I want to throw to, and it will give me a 3D point in space that I then, if I can get hit that with the top corner of the piece, the piece is the right size, so the piece is the size that I'm aiming for and should shrink down to the finished size I want. Now, the thing is, you have to know what size to set the laser to. So I'm going to throw a large drippy slippy mug, but all my large swirlies and impulse are all the same size, and the finished size is 10 centimeters tall by 9.5 centimeters in diameter. I have set this to 11.1 .1 tall and 10.6 in diameter, approximately. Um, there's a little bit of wiggle room that can't be too precise with it, but broadly speaking, that's what I'm aiming for. How do I get to those numbers? Well, the way that most people seem to do it from what I've seen sounds right, it makes sense. So this clay shrinks 10%. And most people make the thrown pieces 10% bigger. So you throw to 110% of your finished size. That's not quite right. Very close. You can see why that's not right if you use a hypothetical clay that's got a much higher shrinkage. So if you had a clay that had a 50% shrinkage, then you would need to throw twice as big. It's going to halve in size when you throw. So you throw to double. So say you wanted it to be 10, 10 centimeters when it was fired you would throw it to 20 but if you were going using that system of adding the the shrinkage to it you'd throw 50 percent bigger 150 percent 15 centimeters when you fired it that would be seven and a half centimeters if you'd pick 10 centimeters because that was the size of your lid you're going to be quite disappointed when your piece comes out seven and a half centimeters the reason it doesn't work is because the 10 percent represents the size from thrown to the finished piece so the finished piece is 10% smaller. It is 90% of the thrown piece. In order to get from 90% to 100%, you don't add 10% or not 10% of 90%, if you see what I mean. What you do is you divide by 90% or essentially divide by 90 and then multiply by 100, which dividing by 90% will achieve the same thing. And what that means is you're actually working backwards from the 10% to get the size that the finished piece is, and then you divide the finished piece by that to get the thrown size. It sounds a bit messier, and that I think is why most people don't do it that way intuitively. It sounds sensible to just add the shrinkage percent to it, um, and when it's 10%, the difference isn't actually that big. So if you've got a 10, centimeter piece like I'm throwing here and you wanted to you, you wanted it to finish at 10 centimeters and you added 10% the way that other people do 
I'm saying is not the correct way, you'd come to 11 centimeters as the throne size. If you divide by 90%, you get to 11.1 centimeters. It is not a huge difference between the two. Now, obviously, that difference could be the difference between a lead fitting and not, um, and it gets the discrepancy gets bigger at higher shrinkages. But um, yeah, it's not actually that big a deal, and I think that's why most people don't even notice that it's not 100% right. But that is the correct way to do it. So I think if clay suppliers gave you 90% rather than 10% as the, the number, it would be intuitive to work it out the other way. But because you're given 10%, the easiest thing to do with the 10% is not to subtract it from 100 to get 90, but just add it. But what you do actually need to do is do it that way. So you take your clay shrinkage that you're given, whether it's 10, 15%, whatever, um, you subtract that from 100 to get the percentage of the final size and then you divide the size you want the finished piece to be by that percentage. So 10 centimeters divided by 90% gives you 11.1 centimeters, which is how big you have to throw a piece for it to shrink down. And you can do that with any percentage. So if you divide it by 85, or if you get obscure ones, like you can go as, yeah, as precise as you want and it will work. Um, a calculator should be able to understand that if you're using a, a more rudimentary calculator that doesn't have the ability to understand divide by a percentage, you can convert a percentage to a decimal just by putting 0 point and then the two numbers. So 0 0.85 would be 85% and doing that the same, that would work. So you could do 10 divided by 0 0.85 would give you um, the scale up for a clay that was 15% shrinkage. Now, all of that's well and good. It's not a calculation that I ever actually do. And the reason for that is, oh, it's so hard to do this and talk. I've got a spreadsheet with all of the final sizes and I've got tabs for each of my clay that give you the throne size in that clay. So a different shrinkage for each clay. Um, and then all the, all the pieces should match regardless of what size, what clay they're thrown in. Um, some people on Instagram asked if I would share it, so I have added to the blog post and I will link um, below a shared version of the spreadsheet. It does up to three clays, although you could modify it to add more if you wanted, but three clays with different shrinkages and as many pieces as you want, um, and it will automatically convert. So you don't need to understand the, the way that you do the calculation um, it will do it all for you. So that's linked below as well. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not a huge deal, but if you're doing it wrong, this should hopefully help you do it right. Um, I think the camera's rolling. I might as well throw another. I won't talk at the same time. <laughs>